Welcome family. We are moving ahead by the word of God and nothing else by the power of the Holy Spirit is moving us forward. Welcome everyone. Welcome all the new members. You have come to the right place. Thank you Lord for this day and he has given us another day to hear his voice and we hear his voice through his word. The Bible says that as children of God we ought to pray all the time and not to cease, not to stop. This story I'm going to share gave me so much courage, gave me so much pride. I am a child of God. I am protected. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm sharing this to encourage you that you are on the right path. When you are seeking the Lord, you are actually protecting yourself. And the God you seek is not a human being to change his mind. What he has spoken over your life will surely come to pass, no matter how long it takes. I was talking to my sister today and we were just laughing and looking back where we've come from and how we were praying sometimes without even knowing much, but we stayed on the prayer altar. We could go to church together when there was a problem we would say let's pray together let's run to god let's do overnight prayers it was really a powerhouse when we needed something we would just run to god with little knowledge but god is gracious and here we are so when you seek the lord you find him and we're just joking about the fact that god is not going to die hey this god you save is not going to die one day and the people that are looking at you boasting in him will come and say, now your God is dead. Let's see how you go about that. Because if we boast in human beings, even your own parents, your parents die and, and people in the family will be like, you were treating us that way. You were showing off or you were this, you were that. Let's see now. Your mother is dead or your father is dead. There are people like that. But with God, First of all, he's not anybody's uncle. Mm? I've said that before. He's not anybody's uncle that you can be so entitled and say, God will only favor me and not you. As long as you seek him, he will answer you. And this God is not going to die anytime. <laughs> he's not going to die. He's forever God. So you are sure of your security. You are sure of your protection. You can boast at any time. He will defend you. Even when you are on holiday or you are in the bush somewhere or you are stuck somewhere, God will make a way for you. He's down in the valley and up in the mountains. He's everywhere. His power is sufficient for you. He is able. He is all sufficient, all powerful with absolute power to take you out of any situation. Now, what I've said, maybe is not very well connected to the story I'm going to share, but I just wanted to encourage you on this one, that this story I'm going to share is giving us so much courage that it pays to be in God's presence. It pays to know the true living God. Because when you do that, you can do spiritual warfare. Certain things will go off your shoulder. The anointing power of the Spirit of God will break off any power of darkness that can be crowding your destiny. This is the story I'm going to share. When I was doing prayer and fasting, there was a pastor who shared this story. So there was this woman from Zimbabwe. I think she's a nurse. She decided to go to UK for greener pastures and she got her visa. Everything was fine. She told the family, I'm traveling. All the relatives maybe gathered. I don't know. And I'm sure she broadcasted everything. She was so happy that she was going. And what happened was she traveled with her visa and arrived at the airport in UK and the officers asked for the passport and she produced her passport and checked and found the visa was fine and then the officer looked at her and said okay you have given us your passport where is the passport of your child on your back you are carrying a child on your back and you haven't given me the passport you can just collapse and fall eh, if you don't have any child on your back when the pastor was sharing this story i was like witchcraft is very real household wickedness is there if you do not pray these arrows can touch you you need to up your game do not play pray Hallelujah. Do not be sitting there and thinking, oh, I am in Germany, so these people cannot reach me. I am in the US, so I've left everyone back home, so I'm untouchable. On that one, I can tell you that <laughs> it's not going to work. It doesn't work like that. This woman got a shock of her life and the officer was standing there. Give us the passport of that child you are carrying. How can you be carrying a child 
all the way here and you didn't bring the passport of your child. And the lady was like, I'm not carrying any child. I'm just me. I don't have any child on my back. No, lady, don't waste our time. I wanted to say, pastor, just stop right there. This lady was sent back. This man was seeing a baby on her back. This baby was visible, visible to him, but not visible to the woman. The things that you can be carrying and you don't know. And you're playing with prayer. When we say let's pray, that's when excuses now pile up. You pray without ceasing. Because some of you are in places or in families that really they don't want anyone to progress. This is what happened to this woman. So that green pasture that she was looking for, she didn't even enter. She landed at the airport and she was returned back. Until that baby is removed spiritually, everyone else will be seeing that baby. And only herself, she was not able to see that baby. Invisible things that can be on your life. And you are wondering why you are not getting married. You are wondering why you cannot get a job. These are the things. Witchcraft is there. They can place something on your head, something on your, on your back, just to stop you from going there. These people in that family, they made sure that this lady was not going to succeed there. So they found something to do so that she can be sent back. And she went back, I'm sure, crying, wondering what it was. And those people, when she landed, they were like, uh-huh. You were excited. You were telling us, oh, I'm going. I'll be so happy. I'll be fine there. I'll be this. I'll be that. So now this story can just start to make people not say bye to anyone. <laughs> you just see I've arrived. I'm in Germany. When did you go? Oh, I left yesterday. This is why we pray all the time. I'm pushing you to pray. I'm pushing you to up your game. Add prayer and fasting and pray that Lord Whatever is invisible over my life, let it cut off right now. Let it catch fire and burn to ashes. That's why we stand to pray. Some of you are joking with spiritual warfare a lot. That you cannot pray for seven days straight. And excuse there, excuse there. These things are real. It might not be a baby on your back. Maybe men are seeing an 80-year-old woman. You are walking and with your makeup, all you know to do is to put makeup nicely, to look beautiful. And no one sees you beautiful. To a man that wants to marry you because of lack of prayer is seeing this old, old, old woman. And you don't know. If you could do prayer and fast, do spiritual warfare, the Lord would reveal great and mighty things that you do not know. This is Jeremiah 33, verse 3. So this is not to scare you. This is to encourage you to go even more this year on that prayer altar. I will leave you with this story and I want you to think about it. And I know that many of you, you've heard of such stories and what are you doing about it? Are these stories pushing you to pray more, to covering yourself with the blood of Jesus, to be under the shadow of the Almighty forever so that these arrows cannot reach you? Are you doing that? Wickedness is everywhere. In your family, it can be at work. You don't know why you are not being promoted. You don't know why certain good things are not coming your way. Because of these invisible stuff that these wicked people can place over your life and that won't be your portion in Jesus' name. The power of the Almighty God will cut off anything that the enemy has placed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because when you seek him, the Bible says you will find him. And when you go into his presence. It is a spiritual mountain where deliverance takes place. It makes you holy. It makes you righteous before him because you humble yourself to ask for forgiveness. And when that is done, then you can possess your possessions. You cannot possess your possessions if you are still carrying invisible stuff that do not belong to you. I believe if this woman was a praying woman, that baby was not going to be on her body. Yes, the power of the almighty God is superior over any power from the pit of hell. So I hope this has encouraged you. Thank you so much for watching. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. If you are here and you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.